This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. It was a wild ball game in Amherst, Mass. on Saturday. Flames falling in triple overtime to the UMass Minutemen, 62-59 in triple overtime. This game had a little bit of everything. You see this highlight right now, Liberty turning a turnover, which started as a turnover into a touchdown. Caleb Coleman with a big touchdown to put the Flames in front. This game tied at 24 going into halftime, and the Flames able to go out to a two-touchdown lead with about 11 minutes to play before UMass mounted a comeback to tie the game at 45 going into overtime. The Flames would score first in the first overtime only to see UMass tie the game up. They traded touchdowns again in overtime number two. To start the third overtime, Flames were picked off in the end zone, setting up Cooper Garcia with a game-winning field goal, 62-59 in triple overtime. We caught up with the head coach, Turner Gill, after the ball game. Well, I'm going to take this responsibility on me. I mean, i got to coach better. Uh, there are some things that uh, we could have done a little bit better on my part, uh, some calls and different things of that nature. So, um, again, great effort. Uh, I'm proud of the way our guys com uh, competed. That's what you can ask for. Sometimes you come up short, and I think that's the case. I want to thank the Lord for giving us an opportunity, and uh, we'll continue to go to work. Liberty now 4-4 four and four on the year. They'll head up to Charlottesville, Virginia to take on the Virginia Cavaliers next week. Kickoff set for 3 o'clock. We'll have pregame radio coverage along the Liberty Flames Sports Network at 1.30. With the Flames in Amherst, Massachusetts, I'm Alan York for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.